Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you a brand new accessory for your Mavic Air 2 that makes mounting a larger display about the size of an iPad mini into your controller incredibly easy. Now, ever since DJI updated their DJI Fly app to accommodate larger screens like this iPad, I've been on the hunt for a way to mount my iPad Mini 4 into the controller so I could use it to fly, because previous versions of the controller were designed differently. They actually had arms that would pop down the bottom, and you would mount your phone or your tablet in those arms, and coincidentally, it looked like it was designed to hold the iPad Mini because it was the perfect size to take this, slide it up in the arms, connect up the cable, and go off and fly. So with all those other drones, I've got a bunch of these iPad Mini 4s that I use, and I thought, when the Mavic Air 2 showed up, no big deal, they've got the holder on the top, I'll just extend it far enough, pop in my iPad Mini 4, and go off and fly. But the thing is, it's just a little bit short to accommodate a tablet of that size. So I thought, all right, I've got to find a solution that extends the reach of that a little bit so I can actually add this tablet to the controller. Now, the reach itself, without any kind of extension, is nine and a half centimeters. So it, it's pretty wide. It'll hold most larger phones out there and some of the smaller tablets, but this tends to be a little bit fat and it won't fit in there. It won't extend it far enough to do that. Now, I could use a standard tablet holder, something like this, where it actually clamps in the top. It looks like you're, you're faking it like you're putting a phone in there, but you're basically clamping this in and then you mount your tablet in here. And this is pretty expansive. You can put big tablets in here. And that works really well, but the challenge is, that seems like a lot of work just to get another, like, maybe three centimeters out of that grip. So I was looking for something that was smaller, a little bit more portable, really durable. And I tested a lot of what I'll call extension brackets. And I really was disappointed in most of them because they're either made out of plastic, which always scares me because if I'm using a plastic device, there's gonna be fatigue with it stretching and holding and you get out in the heat and the cold and it's gonna break over time. And I've got this expensive tablet kind of trusting that that plastic is going to hold on to it. And if it cracks, I'm going to lose my tablet. It's going to hit the ground and crack the screen. So I wanted something that was a little bit more durable. I also wanted something that was easy to use and wasn't gigantic. Now, some of the ones I tested, and I'm just not picking on this company, but this seemed to be kind of a standard mount, where basically what you do with this one is, and I'm laughing a little bit, but you slide it in from the back, and it attaches to the antenna. And then your tablet would sit here on the bottom and push up against that back piece like this. Now, that makes sense, right? It looks pretty good, but the challenge is, look at the torque that's pushing down on this. So you've got this twisting action on the antenna down like this, and I'm really worried over time that these are gonna bend and they're gonna get all kinds of wonky. So this, I didn't like a lot. Although this is nice because it'll hold different size tablets. I just didn't think that this plastic would hold over a long period of time. Plus it's really big and it's, again, it's worrying me that I've got torque against it because that tablet is pushing hard on the top of this and that bottom point right there is a fulcrum. So there's a tremendous amount of torque, especially with bigger tablets pushing at the top. So that was a couple I tested like that. There were a few that different companies make that look like that and I just didn't like it. I thought, man, I'm gonna crack this thing. Plus every time I put it on and take it off, it's a really rough exercise. And then I tried the tablet holders like I told you before. Now, if you have a larger tablet, you have to use something like this because this won't extend it that far. This only extends it to 14 and a half centimeters from the bottom to the top. So it'll hold something a little bit larger than an iPad mini 4, but not much larger. So measure your tablet before you order this. But the beauty about this one is that first of all, it's made out of aluminum. So it's, it's custom made for the Mavic Air 2. It's built out of high quality products. It's got rubber on the top, rubber on the back. So it's going to protect your tablet and it couldn't be easier to install. You basically twist this piece like that slide it through the two bars, twist it back and it locks in place. So this isn't going anywhere. And then all you have to do is take your tablet, put it in and drop it in like that. Now, the cool thing is, unlike some of these other ones, the plastic ones, and this one in particular, that tablet's not going anywhere. It's in there as if it's part of the controller at this point. So I have no worry that if I get excited about something and I'm not paying attention, and I you know, I wiggle my hand like this, the tra tablet's not gonna slide out the back. One of the other really good things is that you can use the standard cable with it. So this is the cable that came with the controller. And when you use a tablet extension like that, you need a longer cable. So you've actually got to replace this cable. But with this one, it's just long enough to plug right into the controller. So you've got the original cable, a small extension for the tablet, and it holds the iPad mini 4 perfectly. It's actually the best solution I've got. The other thing is, you notice I'm not creating a lot of torque on the back of that. I'm not actually twisting down on parallel with the pull. I'm up about 15 degrees, but that's to give you a little bit of sun reflection relief, if you will, from behind you. But it's not like it's extending way up where it's gonna push down and torque that out. So with all the testing we've done, this is the one we settled on. Now it's from a company called Ulanzi. I sell a lot of their products. I work with them on development of products. 
and I like their tech an awful lot. Um, and they're a company that I spent time with talking about how this tablet adapter was going to work or this tablet extension was going to work and actually tested some of their prototype gear. But this one for me is an easy solution. And again, what I like so much about it is it's easy to use. It's small. It's relatively inexpensive. Again, it's machined aluminum, so it's not going to be cheap. It's not plastic, but it's not terribly expensive. But for me, this is a quality piece that I can easily put in my case, not take up a lot of room. It takes me 15 seconds to put it on. It holds my tablet securely. I can use the original cable. If you want a little longer cable, we have these available on the website as well. They're 30 centimeters, but you can use the original cable and still connect it without any issues. And for me, flying with a little bit of bigger tablet like this and having that extra screen real estate just gives me a much better view of what I'm trying trying to film or the pictures I'm trying to take. So anybody out there that's looking to add a tablet to their controller, you have a couple of different options. Like I said, this will hold this will hold a tablet about the size of an iPad mini 4 or the 5, or maybe a little larger because it'll go to 14 and a half centimeters. If you need something bigger, if you're using one of the iPad Airs or one of those gigantic tablets, you'll need something like this, which is the tablet adapter. We have all of this stuff available on the website, but for me, this little attachment is like the perfect solution to fix that problem for me with the controller. And it's what I'm using every time I fly. So we have plenty of these in stock. I've got a link below where you can find them on our website. You can also find them on Amazon. I've got a link to Amazon as well. I've got links down there for the cables if you need those. And we even have the tablet adapters if you want. But for me, looking for a solution that made this really simple, that I could put on in a couple of seconds, I could pull it off really easy at the end of the day. It didn't abuse the controller when I was attaching it or taking it back off. And more importantly, it didn't cause that, that torquing issue where I'm twisting on these two arms here that I guarantee you over time are going to bend if you're using one of those other styles out there. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I like the accessory an awful lot. If you find value in this, again, I've got links below where you can go there and you can buy them from us. We ship every day. We ship for free. We'll get it to you faster than Amazon. And of course, we stand behind everything we sell. So if you ever have questions later on or any problems with anything, we'll be here to take care of you. So that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there because I have a ton of giveaways coming up on all kinds of high-tech stuff. And we've got the 12 days of drone Valley Christmas coming up as well. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a little notification every time we post a clip. You can enter those contests. And plus, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming that I'm going to be reviewing on the channel. You're not going to want to miss that. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy flying.